welcome this game is called seraph and let's get into it i'm gonna show you what it's like so this is my level 62 character which means i've beaten the chapters you have 10 chapters to smash at the start which is like a quest line and from there you run things uh, basically like dungeons we call them maps and uh, this is the map so they come in tiers levels and rarities and they all come with their own uh, specific traits i'm gonna find a nice easy one to do because my oh, my bag is stocked all right Let's go here and we can put a map in. Do a nice easy one. That's not too much stuff. There we go. Loot amount 50%. That sounds good. I like that. And you get a nice little portal. Bang it in. And Bob's your uncle. My character is a necro mancer, so I'll, I'll mess with dead, death, and destruction. Oh my lord! I can't see the bottom of my my little. I can't see what uh, what things I had connected to it. We got what Q, W, E, V, R. Yeah. We've got, oh, we've got right click and left click. That's right. So I've got my left click. It is a nice uh, spell that like sucks the life out of people. Your pet should run around grabbing stuff for you. Um, and also I have this shield bone armor. So that takes away quite a bit of damage reduction. And then bone blade storm is my attack. So if you're looking for builds, we're talking bone blade. Look at this. I don't even hit him. Just let him attack me. <laughs> and then your pet is awesome. Let's see if. Uh... Nope, I haven't got any pet time. You get, you get like time for your pet that keeps it alive. <clears throat> Not keeps it alive, but it makes it um, basically a whole shop and upgrade station that you can take with you. Um, I've probably got pet time in my stash because you get it while playing. So I'm going to put that there. Whatever. Go away, pink gem. And then right click. One day of pet stuff increased. Alright, so when you're in a, if you're in a dungeon, instead of coming back and um, going to the blacksmith and going to the shop, upgrade or sell things if you look now he's picked and he's going to pick stuff up again a good little boy all right um and yeah once once you're in here though you can use him press p for pet and it brings up the pet menu and here you can go shop first of all you want to get rid of all your um gray <clears throat> common armor like that it's yellow blue blue gray no i'm saying so let's get rid of all the armor weapons that are just boring. Um, and gems, even jewels. So I can't be bothered with them. Need more space. Oh, necklace, go. Lots of little gems and stuff at the moment to sell. Jewels, oh, sorry, oops, that's the wrong one. Who caught that? Not me, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, belt, belt. Get rid of them. Alright, if they're grey, you sell them for some gold, some moolah, and then salvage the rest. If you're not looking to upgrade your shield, you know, or whatever, salvage, salvage. Yo, salvage, salvage. You know what I mean? Bang. So that will. Oh, look, I left some grey things. Uh, don't want to. Actually, what is that? Oh, I've got a nice jewel. Okay, and then, oh, they're grey as well. I missed them earlier. So, oh, that's all I've got to salvage. So you can salvage anything that's uh, above um, 
common. And we've got magic, rare, unique. Yeah, magic, rare, and unique. So unique is red. That's uh, rare, apparently. So you salvage it and you get... It takes a couple materials, but you get all this stuff back and you, you catch these everywhere. So salvage that up. Look what you get. You got your shards back anyway. Whatever. And then these things are what you use to upgrade um, and put gems on and things like that. So all these stats that are on there, and you see with the blue, blue dots on there, the stats, they're called affixes. So we have our prefix and our suffix, and we can um, edit them. So you can you can upgrade. All right, see. So that's a great, this is a great little AoE attack that just does mad damage for me. Smash. So I don't really have to do much until the boss. Oh, and here we go. I like to have the map on the screen um, while I do it so you can see everything easy. And if I ever do need to really attack something or I'm taking too much damage, I just hold down right click and spam this one spell. This one here, Crimson Absorption, continuously cast the spell to attack enemies around you dealing quite a bit of damage and each enemy gives me 18 health so it's a bit more than 18 I think see 28 now because I've upgraded a few things you can get more of it by adding like elemental damage to your weapon and stuff like that you can get more heals um, but yeah bottom line is that is healing me crazy quick while I'm attacking <coughs> so it's doing all that damage and healing me boom 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 healing it's crazy. It's crazy. If they come too close, they get hit with one of these two. So this is a boss. This little golden man. He's like a mini boss. He'll go down quick. And mind you, I make it look easy like this, but um, this is a low level um, dungeon for me as well. I mean, I'm level 62. You should be going level 65, 70 dungeons to get any sort of challenge. And I'm, you know, like a level 61. So... No stress, I'm just doing this for the purposes of the video. I want to showcase this game and how chill and easy it can be if you, um, you choose a nice build and put on some nice music. It can be nice and relaxed. Yeah. And yeah, so basically our, our, our goal after beating chapter 10, I think is 10, 10 chapters, Pretty fun little storyline as well. Crazy, weird stuff going on in it. I won't spoil anything for anyone. But it is fairly... Uh, what's the word? I don't know. Like encapsulating, you know? You get into it, whatever the word is. Oh, see, look, I've got a bit of damage there. I almost died. But if I ever do come too close to death as well, I have like a saving grace um, spell on Necromancer. Which is turning into... The Grim Reaper. And then he has this certain health here which ticks down, but then obviously I can heal to bring it back up. Or I can use uh, potions and everything. There's no cooldown on the potions, so you can use as many of them as you want. I like spam them, I mean. Uh, but yeah, this guy, once he runs out, if, he, if I get killed in this mode, I don't die. I just come back as my dude instead of the Grim Reaper. It's like an extra little life. And dying is a very... Well, staying alive is very important in this game. And dying means a lot. Like, it can be annoying. You can you can ruin your whole run. You get about five chances, I think. Six chances. In one run. In one dungeon. So if you're going for stuff that's an actual challenge, you might use up most of your lives uh, in most of your runs. I know I did with this little glass cannon build, like... I know there's people doing a lot more damage than me as well though, so I would not say 100% take this advice to be a necro and, and don't don't just um, copy what I've done. Have a little have a little play on them on the different types. Because mm, I think there's what five um, five races. You got Seraph, you got Barbarian. There's the guy that throws a javelin. What's he called? I called a Seraph. I can't remember. It's been it's been a little while since I was looking at the characters, and I only played I've only played this 
one, really. I got stuck at like level 15 and thought I was properly stuck in the game, but then I found a way around it. But I'd already made a new account by then. Regenerate gear affix. So, this is pretty cool. Let's see if I got gear. Here we go. Let's put that in. So, see the affixes on there is the um, blue dot and grey dot there. So if I put that in there, I get one free forge with this guy inside the chamber. I'm going to just show you guys. Um, prefix, suffix, and it just says one free affix. So I'm not sure what it's going to change. Let's find out. Bang. So that changed it all around a bit. Doesn't look any better. Summoner damage is pretty cool um, as a necromancer. Or there is one other class I think as well. You can summon stuff. But yeah, we can summon like um, skeletons and things and send them to attack. But yeah, only forge free once. <laughs> Let's find it. So yeah, the, the the bloody dungeons, there is no like get to the end, ta-da, you're at the end kind of thing. It's you have to, you have to basically clear the whole dungeon if you want to know that you've gotten everything. Um, there's a couple of, there's always a couple of Bosses. Oh, did I just die? Yeah. I'm gonna revive now and turn into the Grim Reaper. Oh yeah, so this is maybe not the easiest. Maybe it's not that close of a level to me, but whatever. That's the first proper boss we've just seen. If you see on the map, they've got different little faces for how hardcore they're gonna be most of the time. Like that's not a boss, he's just a big looking dude. Um, but yeah, up here is a boss. So, do that. We got three more seconds of this guy. He lasts for 30 seconds. Bum, bum, bum. And yeah, I can click to attack with my scythe. So that does quite a bit of damage. Oh, that's just a boring boss. Oh, actually, this guy's pretty strong. The wind hack. He was. What was that? I'm not sure what killed me before. Yeah, yeah, so this guy just is a greedy, greed wraith, he just drops money. Slice him up. Get all that gold. Alright, and then we're going to do this again. So you can do this every two minutes, which is pretty sick. <laughs> See, I'm selling stuff and I'm already getting stuff. That's how abundant the things are in this game. Don't even worry about it. Sell it all. Crush it all. Man, don't waste your backpack space. Just keep cycling through, and that's how you end up with four million. Jeez, the, the limit is six. That means I've got to upgrade some stuff or something. Costs gold to upgrade. Just leave the salvaging until later. We don't want to see that. Lightning damage ring. Ew. It could be worth something if it's boosted. So yeah, I've, uh, on the map here we can see I've explored this part. Um, that is going to be a healing shrine, which usually represents another boss. I think what that, whatever that is. Oh, that's me. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we can we can go and search out that one. And it'll most likely bring us through a wasp. So I'm gonna go up here and go across instead. Can we get through here? Yeah. Put my shield on. Buzz these guys. Slice you up. It's just that easy sometimes, but sometimes it's a, a real challenge. If you build your build right though, it's like you can do it in your sleep after the amount of hours that you have to put in to get to level 60. It's not it's not three hours, you know. You'll be playing this for a little bit. Oh, let's turn into the Grim Reaper here. Become pretty much immortal for a second at least. Then we can get 
armor altar, which gives us extra armor for a while, increased by 100 for a few minutes. That's pretty sick. Oh, there's another boss. Oh, there's another boss. See, they don't pop up till you come close to. You really gotta, really gotta search these places for the bosses. Damn boy. I just gotta hold down that button or I might die because I gotta heal, heal, heal while they're wrecking me. It's a, it's a balancing act, this build. You gotta balance yourself. But then sometimes you can just sit there and let them die. Because my guy does heal over time too. I'm not sure if that's from my items or what. Ooh. I think it is from my items. So I can set that. And then it does a similar thing to the um, blacksmith that we bumped into before. Is if you if I collect all these energies, it'll open up and I can use it. But I'm not gonna do that. Because I don't really have anything I wanna I wanna use in there. If you just leave it to keep going and keep going and you you, you fail it, then um, you get like a, a bunch of random stuff, which I would prefer the random stuff myself. So This is the time for iced coffee. I got spear, gloves, nice, nice. And I've just realized the potions are hidden behind my head, so when you get into game, that's when you'll get it. Mm -mm. Um, yeah. Also, when I finish this, if you're watching, once I exit this uh, dungeon, oh, there's the real boss, I will give a real code out for joining the game. that sound because yeah it's a code it's a code base so I'm gonna read one out at some point to let y'all in the game and only one person can get it activate that account and get it done son but yeah it's a secret oh look at me I'm dead like crazy all right I'm gonna revive now oh my god Ooh, so I had to turn into the Grim Reaper just to even have a chance on this guy. So this guy sucks. Oh my god, I get wrecked by this guy every time I get into a dungeon with him. I've got to heal myself too. Yeah, okay, so this guy... <clears throat> hurts my soul. You have like five chances. And... Yeah, you gotta, you got to kill him. Yeah, sorry, you gotta kill him by um by running all the way goddamn back every single time. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for that guy, he's just scary as hell. Some little demon man, I'm just gonna finish this off. You know, you can see how big the dungeons are. I've, I've pretty much finished maybe 80% of it I'd say. Um oh no, maybe even more, because that's there's probably just maybe one or two rooms up there. And then there's that. But sometimes they can go forever. And sometimes they can have extra levels to them, I think. I've heard. Mm -hmm. But yes, that is the thing. I can't be bothered. So I guess it's your lucky day, lads. Because... Ugh, I'm gonna get one of my codes up. So that's uh, press B and you can teleport back to town anytime. Whichever town you're in. Oh, it says I don't need to use one now. Right. Give me two seconds, lads, and I will get you a code. Yeah, some of y'all might be like, oh, you should have had this on hand, ready. Nah. Shut up. If you want it, you can wait. Oh, what was it called? That we got for it. Act pass, we it? Hmm. 
Hmm. My god, I'm struggling to find it now. Maybe I should have had it on. <laughs> nah, screw you. Huh. Okay. Here is the code. V for Victor. D for Doggy. Capital S for Sierra, I guess. Lowercase R for Roger. Another capital S for Sierra, D for doggy, and capital P for poopy bup hole. Poopy bup hole? Poopy bum hole. You know the one. Poopy butt hole? I can't remember. You know the one. Alright, so also, 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 when you're at the end games here, uh, you have your casura. Make sure you're going to the origin here and upgrading your <coughs> your world ring, right? So we've all got a little uh, am amulet pack up here and world ring, as you'll know if you're actually up to this. If you're not, whatever. Um, you, so you can either smash it up, take stuff out of it, whatever, promote it. So we want to, if we bang that in there, we can upgrade it by adding um, other broken ones. You get about five, I think, through the through the main quest line, maybe more, and then um, you can smash up the ones you don't want and add more affixes to the one that you do want. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. If you're still watching, do not forget to subscribe and chuck a, chuck a comment in, I'll, I'll heart it. I'll give you some love back. But yeah, thanks, thanks everybody. I'll see you in the next one.